Hi, I'm Dennis Gage. Welcome to My Classic Car. Well, this week we're in Franklin, Tennessee at Nissan's North American headquarters for the 23rd annual Z Car Convention. It all began back in 1970 with the 240Z, a sleek, slick Japanese sports car, and evolved through the years to the latest, greatest 370Z of today. And they're all here, everything. Stock, mod, race, you got it all. So what do you say we get around and check out some of this iron from the other side of the earth? Hey Mark, how you doing, man? Hi Dennis, how are you? Good to see you. Man, uh, I'm having a hot time here in, in hot Franklin, Tennessee. It's hot down here. Well, yeah, the heat's bad. You know, we brought disease and I think you brought the heat. So. <laughs> well, you know, it's, it's really cool because we're, I mean, we're here on uh, Nissan's uh, uh, North American headquarters, right? Yes, yes. On the grounds of their, First their time we've ever been able to have a Z convention on their actual grounds and we're ecstatic about it. So did you have to convince them of that or? Well, you know, they kind of reached out to us and said, this is the 40th anniversary and I think it's a good fit. Let's do something together and so, it's been great. So they came to you, how cool. They came to us. That They've is... been a sponsor in past conventions, probably the majority of the conventions we've had. This is our 23rd annual International Z Car Convention. Yeah, you know, that's the thing that amazed me. I'm, I'm a fan of Z cars. So in, in and I, I guess in the back of my mind, I figured with such a cool car, there's got to be a following, there must be a convention going on. But I'd never heard of it. And you've been doing it 23 years? 23 years. Wow, and have you gone to many of them? I've been to 21 out of the 23. That, that's pretty many. So I'm seasoned. <laughs> <laughs> and you've got cars, I mean, I was talking to some people from Canada last night. We've got Canadians, we've got people from Japan, we've got people from uh, New Zealand. They're, they're, everybody's here. Everybody that knew about the 40th anniversary showed up for our big event. That's right, it's the 40th, so back in, in, uh, in 70 is where it all began. Yes. And so, I mean, 240, 60, 80, 300, and now we're up to like 370, I 370 think. You embrace them all at, at this event, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, cool, man. Well, there's, there's plenty of cars to appreciate here. Let's, let's go check a few of these babies oh, out. Oh, let's do it. Let's go Sounds here. good. Well, Mike, this is a uh, bright yellow car. <laughs> It is bright. It is bright. The bugs seem to like it. They think it's a, a big flower. Mm -hmm. But this is a what? This is a 73 240Z Scarab. Yes. Now, tell me about the Scarab. They, they were like from California Scarab or Scarab was a company out of Northern California in the mid-70s that uh, used to do the conversions from the 6 over to the Chevy V8. Uh-huh. It was a kit you could either have them build or you could buy the entire kit and do yourself. What all is 240Z and what all is Scarab? Uh, body mods on the outside, the uh, hood is fiberglass, the front air dam is glass, the front and rear flares are glass. For the interior, they changed the seats, the steering wheel, and I added a four-point roll bar. And you have thrown a few extra gauges over here. Threw a few extra gauges in, they're a little brighter, or a little easier for me to see. Yeah. And uh, they're a little more, I think, accurate than the originals. So how long did you work on the restoration? Five years. Wow. <laughs> The whale tail is crazy though. I mean, that's a... Yeah, it's a fiberglass tail and we molded it right into the original metal deck lid. And then it looks like the back is... Rolled the rear pan and uh -huh. took all the bumpers and the seams out and filled them in. And even the way the flares are molded in is really nicely done. So you say it's a V8 conversion. Yes. Let's go look at that. Okay. So what are we looking at? It's a, a 350 Chev? It's a brand new 350. It's a 69 350 four bolt main block that I found uh, still in the paper. Really? Yep. Yeah. So wow. I got together with my engine builder and uh, we sat down and did the math. I told him what I wanted and we put it together. And I told him I was going to run a very unique intake. Well, I was just going to say that is that is a very cool intake. <laughs> it's a takeoff of the original GM intake that they put on the 69 Z28s that was an option. Oh, yeah. Now, <laughs> I mean, even at, at, a, at a Z car show, this thing's got to get tons of attention. It attracts attention. It, not just bugs. <laughs> because of the, it, co the color <laughs> gets them over there. It attracts and then the... people. Wow. So you're having a good time at this? Uh, this... Loving it. It's, it's, a... my, it's my first big show with it since we finished it. And, people uh, digging it? Yes. Yes, yes they are. Well, Seem I am to too, be. man. So 1973 240Z Scarab. Yes. Very Thank cool you. car, man. Thank you. Wow. Welcome back to My Classic Car. Well, JR, this is a fabulous machine. I heard this baby fire up this morning outside the hotel. It was my wake-up call. 
This thing shook the earth. It does. It, <laughs> it does. does. So what do we look? This is actually a Paul Newman race car, right? Yes, it is. It is a tube frame IMSA All-American GT car. All-American GT by virtue of the fact that it was built in Danbury, Connecticut by Bob Sharp Racing. Man, you can see from the roof and, and, and some of it that it's, it's a Z car, but it's huge compared to a Z car. It had to be this wide because we had to shove everything under it. <laughs> Pretty competitive? No. Really? No, it, it had a lot of teething problems. It was really ahead of its time. We had the groundwork down and that worked out fairly well, but there were some problems in trying to get all the packaging into this car. For instance, the radiators are actually in the rear fenders. Wow. Well, certainly the, you know, the, the cockpit is, is definitely a uh, uh, full race, all business. And I mean, a gauge for every imaginable thing, but it's, 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 it's just the driver and the power, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> yeah. And this is all analog. They're the only electronics on the entire car are the ignition system. Really? Everything else is mechanical. Man, and like, and like you say, it's uh, radiators back here and... and radiators can... are in the fenders, the oil tanks back here, the gearbox is back here. That's out of a Gurney Eagle Indy car. Oh, really? Yeah. All the pumps and the alternator are at the back of the car. And uh, adjustable wing? Yes. Test and down, get the right down force? Get the right down force, adjust it. Well, Not ground effect. There was a panel underneath that we've left off just for ease of access right now. Uh -huh. But it didn't have any tunnels or diffusers or anything else that did run now. Again, I mean, it, it was just it's thunderous. What, what's the engine? It is a 4.4 liter Nissan President V8. And uh, it's a monster. Let's look at it. You know, it's not that big. No. And it made a big sound. It always did. The very first motor made a thousand horsepower on the dyno. We actually thought it was going to knock the doors down to the dyno room. It shook them so badly. <laughs> so what all, what all was done here? Push rod, aluminum heads, twin turbo. Wow. And I mean, it's tube frame. It's just, this is just full blown race. Yeah. Just a simple race car. Just, just a little race car. <laughs> Got to be a crowd pleaser. I hope. JR, thanks a lot, man. Thank you. 1980, 280Z, Paul Newman race car. Absolutely. Welcome back to My Classic Car. Well, Randy, this is a beautiful car. This is a 10th anniversary, so it must be a 1980. 1980, right? 1980, correct, right. With 1970 being the first year. <laughs> so this is a, a, a 280ZX. By that time, they'd grown a bit. And this was a special package to celebrate the 10th anniversary color scheme and all, right? What's the deal on this? Yeah, they made 2,500 uh -huh. of the black and gold uh, with leather interior, and it's all numbered. Have you always been a Nissan guy, or, you know? I have always been a Nissan guy. I've owned Nissans uh, since I was a young man. I've always wanted one of these. Oh, yeah? I saw one on the showroom, showroom floor when I was, I was like, a, Yeah, <laughs> couldn't afford it back then. Uh, but uh, about three years ago, I found this one out in California. I'd been looking for it for a couple years. Had this one been completely restored, or? That's pretty much original. Pretty much original. Yeah. Wow. The only thing I've done to it is just replace rubber hoses and, and things like that and just uh, and did it up a bit. And you keep that all correct too? Yes. yes. All Nissan stuff. Uh huh. Well, you're not screwing around, are you? No, I'll try not to. <laughs> well, you know, it's great. I, I like what they did with the color scheme too, because I mean, they, you know, accented the headlight uh, buckets there and, and uh, you know, the black pinstripe and stuff. It's a really great and it's a real striking color combo. Gold stripe on, on the hood bulge. And then, you know, to match it with the, the tan leather interior it's just it's gorgeous and is that dark brown console yes stock uh -huh. that was correct that was all original uh -huh. wow uh it had uh, a little over uh, just under fifteen thousand miles when i bought it and it's going to turn over eighteen thousand by the time i i get back hardly home. a daily driver no, no. <laughs> but i'm going to drive it I, yeah. I drove it all the way from Hel illinois was it uh, was it a fun drive down it was now 280 was it 2.8 liter correct fuel injected 2.8 liter let's go look at it all right was, was the gold uh, valve cover stock? No, that's something that uh, that's, I, I did. That's that a Randy a, mod. That is a Randy <laughs> mod. <laughs> but you know, it looks good. Nissan should have done that. Uh, I think so. But now they're fuel injected, no carbs, just piping. Correct. And uh, that's the air cleaner up there? Yes, uh -huh, and that's original. Everything else is original on it. So you're having a good time at the Z car convention? Having a great time. It's pretty yeah. cool, isn't it? Yeah, it right sure here is. At the headquarters. I mean, pretty homework. cool, except for the heat. Except for the heat. <laughs> <laughs> Randy, thanks for bringing us hey, thank anniversary you. edition thank 1980 you. 280ZX out. Thank you. Love it. Well, Michael, I know this is a Z car convention, but I gotta tell you, this little 2000 Roadster just blew me away. I, I was like, Rrr! 
worked. You know, this thing's so beautiful. Thank you. Uh, this is a 67. Yes. 2006. And, and arguably, I mean, this is really where the 240Z came from, right? Yes, it is. This is the granddaddy of all these cars that are sitting out here today. But this is not just a stock 2000 Roadster. There's been some, this has been breathed on. <laughs> yes, it's had a full uh, frame off restoration. Uh, literally every nut and bolt has been uh, touched, massaged, uh, replaced, or replated. And uh, we have uh, gone all the way from the front end to the rear end of this. Wow. She's lower, isn't she? Yes, absolutely. How'd you do that? Um, there's not much you need to do on a Roadster to get it low. So what we're doing is uh, putting a competition springs that were available from yeah. the factory racing springs, competition sway bar, and really that's all you do. How about the wheels and brakes? The wheels are 16 inch Watanabe's. That's a Japanese uh, market wheel that is based basically on that classic mini light design. Nice, how about the rear end? The rear end is a four to eight inch. <laughs> not screwing around there either. No, <laughs> well, you know. And you know, cockpit's beautiful and you kept, uh, I mean, you've updated the gauges and stuff, but it kept a very classic look. Yeah, we've tried to keep everything, if the hood was closed, that you would not necessarily know that this car has been modified. Got the wrinkle coat on the dash, uh -huh. and we've got classic instrument gauges with electronic speedometer and tachometer. Well, now, uh, the two, Thousand would have had a two-liter engine in it. Probably no longer has that same two-liter engine. No, it does have a two-liter engine in it, but it is a late model one now. Well, let's have a look at that. All right, let's do that. Wow, that is a uh, wow. <laughs> That's a typical response. <laughs> wow, <laughs> what, what am I looking at? This is a Japanese market Nissan SR20 DET engine. Is it, is it like a crate engine? Uh, this engine was found in the Japanese market uh, Nissan Silvia in the last version of that called the S15. Uh, this was uh, approximately a 2001 engine. Aluminum? All aluminum, 16 valve, variable valve timing. Turbocharged? Turbocharged from the factory. How many horsepower? 250 stock, oh, and cow. we've uh, played with the treat, boost treat a bit. Treat that yeah, too. Of course, yeah. <laughs> of course. So, I mean, this weighs mm, 2,000 pounds? Uh, 2,150 pounds. That is a lot of horsepower for Our that. normally aspirated cars, we can get down to about 1,950 with this engine. Michael, you should be very uh, pleased with what you've done, and the owner, James, should be very proud. Thank you very much. 67 Datsun 2000 Roadster. Yowza. <laughs> and then some. <laughs> Welcome back to my classic car. Well, Vince, this is pretty sweet. This is a 72 240Z. Yes, sir. January but 72. It's got some, it's, it's got some Bob Sharp mods, right? I mean, yes, what is sir, this, it baby? does. It does. It's, it's a 72 240Z featuring authentic Bob Sharp racing equipment. Man. Well, you know, she looks like she's longer. Has the nose been extended? Yes, sir. That's a G nose featuring the IMSA, IMSA package, which is uh, basically a 70s race setup. This was built for street, though. It was, eh? Yes, sir. Yeah. Built for street by Mr. Warren Powers. Interior wise, was this from that build, that original build, these Recaros and the and the and the orange and black. Yes, and sir, they are. That was those are Recaro Spectrums. They've been out of production for probably 30 years. Um, I rewrapped everything in leather, of course, to try to update everything, make it a little more modern. Now these are hatchbacks. Can you pop the hatch for me? Are those your uh, headlight covers? Yes, sir. For if you're going to a performance driving experience or a PDX, you would put the solids on so you don't take a chance of damaging the, <laughs> the, the 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 fiberglass headlight covers, of Gosh. course. Close it down. Certainly. It just drops. Well, it, whale, it actually sounds like a whale. Not only the whale. A little bit. Yeah. A little like nature <laughs> blended in there. That's the Nissan Infinity Ooh. thing. Sure. Sure. Um, and well, yeah, I mean, the back end looks great. Now, is it a is it a stock? engine in this? Or you, that's probably been breathed on too, right? No, sir. It is a numbers matching engine with 73,000 original miles. But tweak, tweak, tweak. Features the electronic distributor, Nismo wires, wow, Makuni yeah. 44s, uh, of course the Mallory coils. You got to have that on a Bob Sharp package. k and filters and, and uh, headers down there? Yes, sir. Equidistant header, um, all refinished. It incorporates stock as well as race features, so yeah. it makes it very balanced. That's what I like about this car. It dries balanced, it looks balanced, it's a very nice combination. Love the Bob Sharp racing. Yes, sir. That's uh, a very unobtainable valve cover. Yeah. And I was blessed to be able to, you know, have that come with it. And of course, I try to make the best of everything else as well. It, yeah, she looks really nice. Now, Thank you. I'll let that's you right. close this. Yes, sir. Because there's right. a trick, right? Yeah, yeah. you just drop it from about there. And she just sounds great. <laughs> She's and lined up good. Sounds great. Looks great. Now, and, and you're a Nissan guy, right? I'm a Nissan and Infinity Master Technician. Yes, sir. So I've been working Nissan Infinity since about 1987. It's probably right that you have this car. Yeah, yeah. Well, my daily driver is a Q45, you know, two lazy boys at a Bose radio. You can't go wrong in Atlanta traffic, but this is the weekend toy, and of course, it's a passion. Are you having a good time today? Oh, fantastic. Look at all these cars and people. This is awesome. It's a cool show. Vince, Nissan's done well. Thanks for bringing this baby out. Thanks, Dennis. It was nice a pleasure ride. meeting you guys. 
Oh man, we had a great time at the Z Car Convention here at Nissan's North American headquarters in Franklin, Tennessee. Let me tell you, it was a hot day, but fortunately there are enough cool Zs to get us through.